Hello everyone and welcome to this Cortina video. If you're not subscribed already and you want to see more of this, please um, please do so. So today we are um, going to be doing a bit of rust um, work, uh, as you will. You know, just taking things like this down to, to metal, um, putting some rust converter on them, putting a bit of anti-rust primer over it once it's converted and then um, leaving it for when we paint it. But the other thing that we're doing is these door car these doors are synonymous with, um, well, infamous for rotting out the bottom this one is already quite bad the others are very solid so what we're doing obviously katie's here messing around the toolkit um we're taking these door cards obviously you can see we've obviously already taken this one off and it is really clean in here so what we're gonna do um is we're gonna take all the gunk out because as you can see there that is 30 40 years worth of crap so we're gonna take all that out and then we are gonna um, we're gonna clean it all out and then we're gonna see what the situation is. That doesn't look too bad though. There's spots like this which are quite bad. Um, it's only surface rust, so it is really, really structural. Um, I'm just a bit worried about it. So becoming, becoming an actual problem. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sort that out and then we're gonna, um, hopefully, it'll be a lot, um, a lot less likely to disintegrate overnight, but not like it will anyway. It's just about sorting that out. And I'm actually going to take it for a little bit of a, maybe take it for a trek up and down this here place, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We've got a load of parts ordered as well. New brake caliper, new alternator, new belts, the, the nine yards. We need to really get it to the standard it needs to be at. So without further ado, let's, um, let's get going. So I'll show you all the befores and everything as well and the afters. So looking under here so far, if we just take all this off, I was expecting it to fall off and it's not. It's actually really solid around these bits. There's only one area of concern and that's really this bit. But to me, that's not rusty and I've been at it with a, with a, with a this for a while. And you can see even underneath that bit where, where someone's flatted it, um, it looks really, really solid. Can you see the new metal under there? It's so good. So we're all right here for now. Nothing's coming away either. I'm sitting there. There's a bit of a hole here though, which I'm a bit worried about. But I've sat here, you know, doing that, trying to get everything to pull away from each other. The only bit that is a bit rotten is this little bit here. So I think that's probably going to get need to get plated. But other than that, it looks all right. Um, I'm going to have a bit more of a stab around this bit because this is the only area that I'm really worried about on the car that we're, we're collectively worried about as well. Um, so it's really just a case of seeing what happens in this area when we sit there and attack it a bit more. But I think for now, it's definitely not a rust bucket. Katie's there filming herself taking the door cards off, as you can see. I'm obviously getting a bit to work on this. We've got a little hole there and a little hole there, nothing too bad. Um, the, that's sort of the end of the bits that peel off really. But other than that, we're all right. We just need to check each each other door now and every other, other bit of rust that we can see. But other than that, we're all right. Let me come in and have a look. Because that's. It don't look bad. It don't look that bad. Well, I'm going to push on it. It's really damp, so that's obviously how it's got like that. It's 
probably what's happened with this one is the little um, drains in the bottom of the doors, yeah, you can see them there, they're all blocked. So it's literally, yeah, bad, isn't it? <laughs> Let's leave it. They sell these on, on eBay. Genuine Ford, genuine Ford Cortina Rust. Yeah, the little drain thing is blocked, I think, as well. So when we clean these, clean these interior door, door bits up, you're gonna wanna, God, that's, it's the, the tree, the tree bark has literally turned to, to nothing. So that, that looks worse than it is. This one is doing okay. Um, so it's just a case of preserving that until we get the this bit cut out and joined back on. But it is also structural. There's just that hole there and that hole there, which is not too bad for um, an old Ford. So Katie's taking the doors off, the door cards off, and then it's just going to clean all the inside. I thought this door was blue, um, sorry, red, but it's been red oxide. A red, it's had red oxide um, painted along the bottom, which is which is good. I wish he'd done it to that one though, which has a bloody hole in it. <laughs> But other than that, though, we're doing really, really well so far. A um, bit of rain, but it's still 75 chilling here, but very nice. It's not as holy as, as most of the other fours of this generation, but yeah, it does have, um, um, is it Zibar, Zibar rust proofing? So I guess, I guess she's, um, with, she's weathered it a bit. So here we are, we've got our anti-rust primer on, and then obviously we're going to deal with that that's just to preserve that and obviously we're just trying to preserve it and stop it from rusting further for now until we get obviously all the tools and stuff to do it um but that one shouldn't be too bad i think that's just literally just in a case of flattening it and then painting it again um because that is all metal um under there after it's all been rust converted i've just kind of obviously chipped all the rust off as you can probably see all around us and of course there was a bit of a bit of a thick bit of filler on there. I mean, look at that. That's like the same aerod. It's this, it's an aerodynamic shape of like a plane ring, so plane wing. But we've taken a lot of it off and we sorted that out, so that's pretty good. And it's not a rock box, so we're we're, we're good. Now it's moving on to this door here. Right, so here we are. Um, I was concerned about that, but I'm not anymore because that's as far as it goes. This is all fine. That's all fine. Just a case of really just taking it back. I can't take this off too much because. Obviously, I'd not want it to get wet, but that it's okay. It's a bit crusty, but it's okay. So all right, even these areas, you know, the bits where you're like, oh no, it might be hiding something, you know, and you put your screwdriver in it or your thing or your hammer and it caves straight in. Even them, I've been attacking them and going through them and pushing my screwdriver in. I'll rust convert that and then I'll, I'll cover it in um, anti-rust lacquer. Um, paint, sorry, um, primer. Even that up there where the roof is, that joins to the. Well, actually no, it's just this bit of um, bit of um, guttering. But I'll be doing dealing with that. The inside of the filler cap, but the inside of the filler isn't too bad on this side. But we'll be attacking that a little bit. It's just some of that stuff like there. Like even some of these star cards that Katie was taking off, they're all covered in um, in paint to the point where they were locked on. It's crazy. So we'll we'll continue on this side with these doors, get the rust converter on, and then you'll see the other doors as well um, once they're done. But I'm I'm quite happy so far. We're both quite happy. The door on that side is dead and gone, I believe. Properly probably salvageable, depending on how handy you are. But just these bits are uh, these bits now need to be cleaned off and painted. So there we go under there. You can see that's all fresh metal. That's all fresh metal as well. Very nice, very shiny. I'm still going to put some um, rust um, converter on it. Having a bit of an attack up there, and I'm going to have a bit of a... Then again, this is only a gutter. But, yeah, they are quite expensive, actually, if they go wrong. So, I'm going to put some rust, rust converter on this, and then we're going to leave it to sit for a bit. That side is obviously... It needs a few more coats of that. Looks worse than it is, but... Hey-ho, once we, obviously whack some stuff on it and paint it all up properly and get that hole sorted will be cool so yeah that's about that but <laughs> we're not doing too bad we're not doing too awful and for a car like this this is pretty easy work the, the fiat coupe was harder work than this the sd one was a million times harder than this especially since it had a bloody massive hole in the wheel arch but other than that this car is really really proving quite good i kind of want to take these oh no this car doesn't have arch liners does it i don't think 
Um, but yeah, anyway, let's get this rust converter on and then we'll go from there. So there we go, this is this side, so our driver's rear arch. And um, we've taken that back down. It's all down to metal after the rust converter, which is very good, but it's been welded at some point. It's got a patch at the back and the welder sort of dribbled a bit. So that's nice, but look at that. We're all right so far. It's all turned back to metal. So good news, Kate is working on that end, trying to make sure that's um, not ridiculously bad, but it doesn't look it so far. So we'll move back to that end after I've sorted all this bit out. So we've got a bit of bad news on this side, but it's not all bad news. So basically there's a big bit of filler that I've noticed since we, that Katie's noticed since we bought it, she pointed it out. And I was just like, okay then, well, um, I kind of don't want to face reality, but sometimes it's important to face reality. Um, <clears throat> so I obviously started digging at it and the things have not been looking too good so far, as you can see, are 70s cars, eh? But luckily, if you can see under there, this is what happens when you get prep a car, right? It's all moist. So it's literally locked the moisture in here and, well, whoever's done this, I can't say who did it, the person who probably painted it, has locked all the moisture in there and it slowly started, slowly started rotting. Now, I think we've got a bit going there. I think we're a bit lucky actually, but it's not too horrific so far. That looks like a bit of chicken wire. I'm a bit worried about that under there yeah that is chicken wire so we'll we'll delve a bit deeper into this and we'll we'll go a bit further but i'm not too concerned if it's been done right but they've locked so much moisture under this it's obviously started rotting so we need to take that out and we need to see if we can convert it. if we can't convert it that's another bit to cut out so we're not looking good on this end as you can see you can see obviously you can identify filler obviously with it because it's so bloody chunky i did expect there to be a bit of this on this car but if you look at this area here yeah it's got the chicken wire but if i just attack it we're solid it's just this top piece here get that cut out and get a new one shaped and welded in i might even try to do it myself jokes i'll make a meal out of it but we're just digging at this bit now discovering a bit more crap no holes yet well there's a tiny pinhole here i think but we just need to sod it all out so we'll we'll keep getting this off then we will show you exactly what it looks like but it's not looking good so you can see there we're pulling out bits of chicken wire now and obviously this bit of metal here has just completely gone back to reveal the freaking chicken coop in my in the um in the oh this is looking a bit painful in it that though if we get that off if i just that off it's actually quite um structural so well not structural sorry that's metal there but we still want to get it as you can see as i go through it so we still want to get this obviously all cut out oh my god that's horrific it's gonna keep taking more off this is actually this is really satisfying but really it's like the world's um least Satisf satisfying um most perilous that is really bad there holy crap that's a lot of filler in that bit oh my god it just keeps getting worse it's horrific i need to get that off if it's actually metal yeah that is metal but it's like thickened it's been thickened with like loads of filler no, it's not. It's just filler. Oh, that's that fiberglass filler. Oh, no. The worst thing ever. You're going to buy Horrific news, everybody. It's horrific. <laughs> so I've just put my hand under the cars. We've obviously been agitating things. And you can see my finger. <laughs> We've pulled this off. I don't think... <laughs> I think the previous owner must have been a sculptor. <laughs> because, and I'm not blaming him, by the way. People do what they what they do to put cars on, keep cars on the road, don't they? Let's be fair. I've done it. You've done it. We've all done it. So no, no hate towards a previous owner at all. Definitely not. Or anyone that's repaired it for him. But I think the person that's done this must have been a sculptor because the sculptor is an entire Cortina um, arch area out of filler, which is very good. But in all seriousness... That bit there is metal, as you can see up there. This bit is, uh, in fact, technical term, it's absolutely dead. It's still metal-like, but I don't trust it. 
that bit, obviously, that was keeping all that together was filler, which is frigging great, isn't it? Up here, in this bit up there, that's all metal there. That's metal, that's metal, that is metal. There's just been a bit of chicken wire chucked in there and a bit of a hole, um, a bit of a filler put in it. So that's not too horrific, but that will end up like this if we don't take all that section out, cut it all out and sort it all out. But as you can see, we've been whittling away at it to the point where we've taken it, taken it to the to the bit of the actual next bit of metal, which is this bit. So I've obviously marked that section out there with this bent screwdriver. As you can see, we have got to melt because it's bent it. Um, but this whole section here, probably, I'd probably, you'd want to take it about there, or if we can get a full, full panel out of it. Oh, more. Yeah, anyway, if you can get a full panel out of it, um, yeah, we'll, um, if we can find like a full wheel latch kit, we'll sort that, but it's not looking good. So um, this has been a bit of a rust adventure, hasn't it? The front, however, is not looking bad. So we're gonna leave the front because we're a bit demoralized. So that is it for now, my friends. And um, we have this, which is obviously very bad news. Um, but it doesn't kill the car because I've got an overdraft. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, it doesn't kill the car because I am gonna. We're gonna sort this no matter what. Um, so thank you for watching. Um, not the news I wanted this episode, but who cares, eh? But I'm gonna be real with you. It's it's not definitely not the news I wanted to give you all. But that's about it for this one. So please remember to subscribe for the next one. And we will see you um, soon because it's raining and I'm quite demoralised.